On a Sunday morning, the Stapleton Fellowship Church worships for the first time in its new home, Hangar 61. Anyone that can take a, an old hangar, make it look as good as it does, this is God's work. And apparently God wanted a piece of it and so bought it. Larry Nelson and Ruth Falkenberg first heard about Hangar 61 when it was included in Colorado Preservation Inc.'s list of most endangered places in 2005. We saw the picture of it and said, well, you know, what a piece of architecture. By that time, Stapleton had been redeveloped and Hangar 61 would never again be used for its intended purpose to house one corporate turboprop airliner. The building was essentially a custom garage and it had stood empty for many years. And of course, it was a pigeon house. But at the same time, it was kind of its own little ecosystem. There was a hawk that lived in there and he enjoyed uh, many fine meals. We did that thing that developers are never supposed to do. We fell in love with our project. <laughs> it's a wonderful building. <laughs> I'm still in love with it. <laughs> Hangar 61 was built in 1959, engineered by Milo Ketchum, and designed by the firm Fisher, Fisher & Davis. The roof comes to rest on two points with no other visible means of support. But after years of neglect, the building was in danger of crumbling. Saving Hangar 61 was complicated and expensive because all the fixes had to be done on the inside to preserve the original exterior. And so, like many love affairs, this one had some very low points. And CPI came in at that moment, at the sort of the last moment when we had finally said, it just can't, it just can't be made to work, <laughs> and um, made the difference. It was the tipping point for the, for the building. Hangar 61 has brought Larry and Ruth much public attention in recent years, but both of them have been working for decades to save the best of Denver's historic buildings and give them new lives. Ruth has sat on virtually every historic preservation and city planning committee in Denver. She does not seek positions on these boards. She is sought after. Even before Lodo became a historic district, Larry had the vision to notice some buildings on Market Street. They had stood vacant for 40 years, but he saw the potential for development and revitalization without compromising the building's character. An architect friend of mine used to jokingly say, so you buy an old building and you get a broom and sweep it out and you make a lot of money. I said, yeah, it's just about like that. <laughs> he, he hasn't built monuments to himself or to the site. He does what the site and the building want to be. Ruth Falkenberg and Larry Nelson make it very clear they work as a team. Ruth is always been essential to the success of any of the projects we've done. <laughs> In Lower Downtown, their credits include 1338 15th Street, before and after, 1501 Wazee, before and now, the Hardware Block Lofts. The home base for their company, 620 Corp, before and today. So often, uh, projects like this the reason most people don't do them is because they're hard. Now, smarter people would walk away and say, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's like beating your head against the wall. It feels good when you stop. If it were easy, it would all be done. <laughs> and it's not. These are intelligent people with good hearts and good souls. Uh, they will always make the right decision. They always uh, do the right thing. Uh, whether it involves restoring a building or, uh, or caring for a friend who, who is in need. Restoration as an act of love, and now a place where people worship. This masterpiece of engineering, architecture, and preservation proves that any building would be mighty lucky to fall into the hands of Ruth Falkenberg and Larry Nelson. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in honoring Ruth Falkenberg and Larry Nelson, this year's recipients of the 2011 Dana Crawford Award for Excellence in Historic Preservation.